<clears throat> Hello and welcome to another Baggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Uh, and it's Christmas Day. Well, it's only just gone Christmas Day. It's about 25 past 12 in the morning. And, uh, well, sorry, it's like I've just watched uh, Die Hard 2. Brilliant film. And I thought, well, busy day tomorrow. Let's crack on with a review. So tonight I'm reviewing one of the best beers that I've come across in a long time. Adnam's Broadside. Um, obviously made by Adnam's, 6.3%. And up until right about this time last year, I'd never tried it, didn't really know anything of it. Then an old mate at uh, my old workplace, who's a beer drinker, got the biggest belly on him as well to prove it, says to me, uh, about Adnam's board, so I said, never heard of it. I've heard of it, but I've never tasted it. Oh, he says, oh, it's bloody amazing. Get, get, go and get a bottle and try it. So I did, you know. Uh, always um, willing to try new beers if someone tells me about them. And lo and behold, tried it. Blown away by its taste. Absolutely amazing. So, dark chestnut colour. Um, off white head aromas of fruit cake very similar to the sort of, sort of aromas you get in King Goblin and uh, Saddler's Christmas Pudding Stout so you can see where I'm coming from straight away and for an old beer it's got the taste. The taste is immense. It's got strength. 6.3 is strong. I mean, I've just reviewed um, a Fuller's 10.7% beer. Now, that bloody thing was strength out of this water. Um, I had to sit down for an hour after that because it, it just walloped me. This is more uh, strong but still palatable, you know. Still very drinkable, one after another after another. So you've had about three, and then you're battered. Normal people are anyway. And again, the taste, it's amazing. It's meant to be drank warm at room temperature. It's not warm, it's still quite cool actually. But it's meant to be drunk at room temperature. And uh, the flavours, you know, they are true Christmas pudding type flavours. Rich fruitcake flavours, raisins, sultanas, almonds. It's all there. Strong malt. And to say it's an oldie, you know, um, it's been around a long while. I mean, it's brewed so to commemorate the Battle of Solby in 1672. I don't think it's that old. But um, Adnams have brewed one of the best beers in Britain. And whilst there are a few that may be slightly better, it's definitely a solid top 10 beer in my, in my opinion. And if you're waiting for Santa to come, Santa to come any time now, you know. Um, hopefully he's been good to me this year. So, um, with my children, my daughter believed fully in Santa till she was about 13. My son, till he was 11. My little one, he's nine and he's a solid believer. And it's great because, you know, we are strong in that you know we love kids have got to be kids you know there's no need to grow up too fast in the world we are in the, the growing up the world it's not that much fun and this is something we need to drum into our children love your childhood live your childhood don't worry about what's coming 
Um, don't try to blow too old too quick. Yes, you have to, um, in some cases, they have to know things that they shouldn't need to know. But um, the longer we can keep the bad side of the world away from them, the better. But saying that, the children of the world who are campaigning for climate change, they have my heart as a gardener. I know that the world needs a change. We need to embrace new technology. The way forward is new technology. Technology that's safe, sustainable, eventually will be better for the whole world, you know, in the long term. But also, we need to plant more bloody trees. It is not rocket science to know that the destruction of the forests around the world for trees and wood is causing the issues. The rich countries of this world, and you're looking at America, you're looking at China, you're looking at countries with vast amounts of space that are doing nothing with them. Australia. Um, you look at the wildfires there, it's very sad. For me though, plant lots and lots of trees. I do mean lots, I'm talking millions and millions. Start changing the habitat in those countries. Change those countries into rainforests. Put 2% of your GDP into planting trees. You can turn the world around. It's not hard. It really isn't. And with trees growing, life grows. New life grows. Because that's how the world was invented. New life comes from trees. New species comes from the evolution of trees and forests. And that over time, obviously. But... Um, it's not rocket science. You know, it's time that um, the idiots in charge of the world, and there are some bloody idiots in charge of this world, got off their arses and looked after the world that they're, you know, in charge of at the moment. A bit of foresight for what's coming for tomorrow, not what's today. But anyway, back to the beer. Yes, this is truly fantastic beer the first beer of Christmas day and uh, it's not going to be the last Christmas day is a day of reviews I'm going to post one after the other see how many I can do in one day I mean you might get to the stage where nobody watches them but they'll all be interesting in one shape or form and uh, I'll put a little subtitle on each review, you know, the, the climate change um, review. And uh, we're certainly, we're not doing enough, that's for sure. Um, but even people planting trees in their gardens, rich people, you, there are lots and lots of rich people in the world, sadly I'm not one of them. But if I've got land, an acre of land, Put solar panels on that land, plant trees on that land. For every acre you plant trees back on, you're helping to soak up carbon dioxide, masses of it. If the rich people bought land, keep buying land, keep planting trees on that land. And obviously we need some land for farming, that's understandable. But also, and also countries can't be over, overloaded with, with people. There has to be a closure of borders in certain countries. Britain is a small country. We're already close to our capacity. And um, other countries in Europe need to realise that. Stop flooding the English borders. And our country needs to realise that. You know, there's only so much you can have. People you can have here. We can't have... 200 million people here and then 60 million in France when France is six, seven times the size of us. And uh, it's not racism. It's just being realistic. And uh, if the world doesn't come to that realisation, we've only got one world. You know, there's no, 
as far as we know, there's no um, plan B. There's no. Uh, it's nice to think about the Marvel films and the ability to go into space, but it ain't happened yet, uh, as far as we know, anyway. So, at this time of night, to drink a top class beer, oh, it just sets you off to bed nicely, doesn't it? For me, I'm going to watch Tomb Raider 2, the Angelina Jolie ones, which I think were pretty bang on, to be fair. She played a good Tomb Raider. Watch that, chill out, fall asleep, wake up in the morning, and uh, see what Santa has to bring, and see what presents I've got. Uh, hopefully some beer related presses, you know. Uh, uh, somebody reviews beers, it's always nice to have a few extras. I know my son's got me a gin advent calendar, so that's 24 branded gins. Uh, one gin review a day for the next 24 days, basically. So I'm going to I'm gonna learn a lot more about gins than I've ever known and tried. 23 gins probably that I've never ever tried before that to me is um, really interesting so dark chestnut in colour um, off white head fruitcake flavour fruitcake on the aroma fruitcake in the flavour malty fruitcake it really is a deliciously dark tasting beer and very moorish and very drinkable. 6.3% doesn't taste 6.3 to me. It tastes like a 5.5%, if not a 5, you know, it tastes something similar to Bob Coplin. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. An immense beer. My second review of this. And it, <laughs> It's as good as the last ones. So out of five, another top ten beer classification. We're getting a bit ready with these, aren't we? But I did buy a lot of beers, ready to be ready to re-review and see if they kept their strong rating. And this again, another one. 4.65 out of 5. Absolutely immense. It's like running a sweet shop and having your best sweets every day. Just recently I have tasted some magnificent beers and some fantastic reviews of late. You didn't have to go back the last few weeks. And uh, there's been some crackers. Christmassy beers, normal beers and uh, all very, very good. A couple of duff ones in the way but not all bad. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Or oh, in a few hours. See you later.